Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do this video. Why is my camera going blurry? I do not understand. Like it looks cloudy right now. Is it actually blurry from something? Is it the smoke from the candle? Is it because it's cold and it's steaming up? I'm lost. Are you going dodgy? Anyway. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film something that I've wanted to film for quite a long time and it's actually the worst products in my opinion at the body shop. Now the reason why I wanted to film this is because I do remain fairly positive about the body shop's products and the body shop in general and because I've been so positive I thought you know what what is the products at the body shop that I actually genuinely dislike or that I haven't got along with and obviously this is based on my own personal opinion everybody's opinions are going to be different so if you like a product that I say I don't like then that doesn't mean that you know you're wrong or I'm wrong it just means that everyone experiences it differently and my skin type is different, my preferences are different, but I'm gonna try and whiz through these because I don't wanna kind of go on too much about being negative, but I do have, you know, a fair few. I wrote a list and then I kind of looked around my flat to see for products and I found some more that I didn't like either. Some of these are the empty products that I've just not thrown out because I knew I'd be filming videos like this. Some of them I still semi-use or some of them I've passed on to somebody else. So I do have a fair few, not loads, but more than what I normally would have for a specific brand because I have tried so many products from the body shop that it's only natural that there's certain products that I don't really like. So I am gonna start off with more skincare products and then get onto the makeup. Now, first things first, I do have more makeup products that I dislike than skincare products. I do think that that is because the body shop have got it pretty much nailed when it comes to skincare, but in terms of makeup, I just don't think it's like, it's not my cup of tea, to be honest, the makeup that they do. And also I think they are such a skincare focused brand. They didn't need to go into makeup. And personally, there's so many other makeup brands out there. I just think, you know, with such better products that I wouldn't, you know, recommend their makeup because I don't really like it, if I'm honest. There's certain products I like. I like their little eyebrow pot thing, whatever it's called, I don't know, research it. <laughs> but apart from that, that's it really. But I am gonna start with skincare sort of fails. So the first product is, which I have actually mentioned in a previous video, I think it was a few videos ago on my channel that I posted last week and it was my review of different cleansers videos. So all the cleansers at the body shop, I said which ones are my favorite and least favorite. This one was my least favorite. I do not like this product. This is the carrot wash from the body shop is the energizing face cleanser. I just said in that video, I won't go on about it too much in this video in case you did watch that video, but I just said that I don't like this because of the smell. It smells like carrots, which is kind of a dumb thing to say because obviously it's gonna smell like carrots because it's a carrot wash, but I just personally don't think that I want to be smelling that whilst I'm doing my skincare. I like fresh floral smells or citrusy smells, just anything that's not a vegetable smell when I'm doing my skincare, if you know what I mean, just a clean smell. So first of all, I don't like that. Secondly, it's meant to be like a glowy, energizing product. They've got the vitamin C range for that. You don't really need this, if I'm honest. I think it's more of a gimmicky product, just in my personal opinion. And also it doesn't lather up as well as some of their other products that they've got. So personally, I just think that this is more of a gimmicky kind of little couple of products that they've got. I think it's just a facial wash and a moisturizer and it's not necessarily something that actually does really any good if I'm completely honest. So yeah, I really don't like this one, but obviously some people might love it. I don't know. Next skincare product is something I didn't think of to mention, but I just saw it in my cupboard. This is very old. <laughs> it's probably got mold in it, so I should probably, oh my God, it does as well. It has mold in it. That's not good. I've literally had this for one year and it's got mold in it. When does it say it's meant to last? Okay, it said it's meant to last a year. Fair point, fair point. Yeah, it does have mold in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not pretty. Oh my God, that's actually really grim. Anyway, this is the Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil, suitable for sensitive skin. I have and had the Chamomile Cleansing Butter, which is a cleansing balm. 
as you know if you watch my channel i love cleansing balms they're amazing i've got my own one which is actually chilling right here but it's kind of empty so i do need to fill it up this is the one that i make and sell on etsy and ebay i'm going to be doing a video about my products very shortly stay tuned but i ran out of that balm and i thought oh what can i get oh let's try something different i'm the kind of person i'm a stick to what you know kind of person when it comes to food when it comes to skincare but then there's also that side of me that's like oh let's try something new let's not because it didn't end well this is just an oil for me oils should add hydration to the skin and soften the skin and just be used as an oil i don't like this as a makeup removal product or a cleanser in any kind of way i try to use this to remove my makeup because it does say that you can use it to remove makeup even waterproof makeup and it just didn't work anywhere near as well as the cleansing balm so that's why i'm adding this in here it's not necessarily a terrible product but in comparison to another product they sell which is in the same range which is the cleansing balm i just wouldn't get this it's just an oil use it to take your makeup off it's not as effective as the balm in my opinion and i just found it quite annoying you know having to like get some out i don't want to tip this out accidentally because it does have mold in it and i'll probably be sick so great but yeah i just don't like oh my god it stinks as well okay i just don't like this i'm not really selling this product too good right now but this is a worst body shop products video so what do you expect yeah i just really don't like this and it just got everywhere it was just an absolute mess on my face it got in my eyes made my eyes sting a little bit even though i do find their chamomile one does also make my eyes sting the one that i sell doesn't get in my eyes as much and i think it's because it's not as kind of like a a melty sort of texture so it doesn't seep into my eyes um, but i do find that with the chamomile cleansing butter as well so that's a big fat no-no never getting that again would not recommend unless you like that kind of thing and then finally we have kind of a couple of similar skincare products this so this is more of a recent product this is the hemp heavy duty lip care i think they recently released this a few months ago or six months ago or whenever this year and don't quote me on that i could be completely wrong which i probably am but even if they didn't i still don't really like it now the reason why i don't like this is because it just doesn't do anything i was expecting this to be really good because it's part of the hemp range which i know is actually quite a well trusted range at the body shop especially with the hand cream the hemp hand cream is amazing i still got that i still use it gets rid of dry skin on my hands or sometimes i use it on my face when i've got bad dry skin because i know how good the product is but i thought oh this must be good because that is i use this on my lips and it just really like i have to really work it in to get any product on my lips from this and i don't like that fact i don't want to have to be there for 10 minutes just applying lip balm i don't know whether this is just a dodgy one or this has just happened with me but that's just what i've experienced and it doesn't really moisturize my lips i actually use their amazonian savior balm as a lip balm and it's not meant for a lip balm it's meant for tattoos and scars or stretch marks and they have actually discontinued it now but i use that as a lip balm and i think that's actually quite nice as a lip balm so that's the kind of vibe that i like is the really hydrating moisturizing lip balms not just something that's really subtle i was just expecting more from this product and it did not deliver to my expectations another lip product is the body shop pink grapefruit lip butter now i kind of like the lip butters i actually do think that they are quite nice but i just think that they go really dodgy really quickly like is it just me i don't know like it just ugh. I need to throw that out i tend not to throw out any of my body shop products because i know that i film videos like this one so i tend to keep them so that i can show the product instead of just speak about it but this is grim i don't know it just goes off a little bit also it is a lip butter so that kind of texture and formula is quite creamy and i just find it kind of melts like all over and i can taste it and i don't know i'm just not a fan really but I would say if you're gonna get one between these two get this one for definite because that is a lot more hydrating than this one is and when you're using a lip balm surely you want hydration to be sort of the main key purpose also something that I just wanted to mention that I haven't personally used but I've heard reviews from people I think my mum also is not a hundred percent too keen on this product but it's the banana shampoo and conditioner I know that some people love it well actually the majority of people that tell me that they love the product are actually 
consultants at the body shop where they sell the products for commission so obviously they're going to be biased I when I did the body shop at home tried to not be biased in any way like if I didn't like a product I just wouldn't speak about it because obviously you don't want to say oh this is terrible but then you just don't want to say this is good when it's not but most people when they're consultants at the body shop will speak positively about products no matter what even if they've not tried it and I know a lot of people with the banana range say it makes their hair feel greasy they have to wash their hair more often I think that's what my mum said that it makes her hair um, need to be washed more often I'm not sure so I've had that first-hand experience with my mum not really liking it so I think that's another one I never tried it because I hate banana smelling things or banana flavored things I just hate it so that I would never try that anyway but I just wanted to throw that in there you know if you've tried it and really liked it then let me know maybe if you've got really dry hair or I don't know it's meant to be nourishing and moisturizing hence why it probably makes people's hair greasier but that's not a good thing I don't know I just wanted to throw it in there then we've got makeup I do have a few things for makeup I haven't tried a load of their makeup like I have with the skincare because I just wasn't interested I'm not that bothered I get makeup from the drugstore I get makeup from Primark my makeup tends to be quite cheap Lidl I use a Lidl blusher and a mascara from Lidl and an eyeliner from Lidl and I'm happy with that it doesn't bother me I think when it comes to makeup it's the way that you apply it if you're sort of semi decent at applying your makeup then you can sort of make anything look good so you don't need really expensive products um, unless it's something like a foundation I always say with foundations you have to find one that suits you not everything can suit somebody and that is why we come into this I have done a few videos on this um, back on my channel so just search body shop fresh nude foundation in the search bar of my channel you can do that and my videos will come up but it has to be on my channel click on the search bar but this is the body shop fresh nude foundation in the shade coyote blossom number 15 it does have spf 15 in it and it is 50, uh, 30 mil so it's a standard amount of product uh the fact it has spf in it is obviously very good so that's a positive however i don't know if that is a contributing factor to the fact that this is so dewy it honestly is so dewy and i think that is absolutely fine for certain people that maybe have dry skin or maybe they like that kind of thing but honestly I've said this and I'll say it again I look like a glow ball after 10 minutes of applying my makeup like I've applied my makeup 10 minutes later I need powder immediately like this here is a good foundation that I'm using the wet and wild photo focus one because it's still pretty goddamn matte and it's been three hours since I applied my makeup that's why I hate this foundation I keep it just for these videos maybe I'll let a friend try it and use it maybe they'll like it I don't know but I personally don't like this and I wouldn't recommend this to anybody that's got oily skin no way Jose I don't like it the coverage is not high the coverage is quite low I would say I'd say it's light to medium coverage and it's just so unbelievably dewy that I just had to include it in this video also I think it might be the fresh nude concealers I'm not sure but I'm not mad keen on those either because the coverage is not very high and concealers are really and truly meant to kind of cover so if you're not you know what's the purpose of using a concealer if you don't want coverage then just don't use it so I think I'm not so keen on those ones either also this is an interesting one lipsticks so this is a, i don't know if it's a lip butter or a lipstick or something it looks like this anyway and it's in the shade sienna rose matte 430 so it's a matte lipstick now the shade looks really nice and you know it does look like a nice kind of pinky shade however the formula of this is not the greatest it wears off really 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 quickly you know there's no sort of like length of wear time to this product and i just feel like once i've applied it like it just doesn't look right on you know the lips and it kind of like there's no like a straight line edge what am i on about like it doesn't look neat and tidy when you put it on your lips it kind of looks a little bit messy and i don't really like that and then it wears off really quickly transfers onto things really quickly it, i wouldn't say it looks sort of matte in a way it just looks a bit messy um but maybe that's because it's a matte lipstick and i do know that matte lipsticks are a little bit harder to do however 
I'm wearing a matte lipstick from a really, really, really cheap brand called Beauty Big Bang. Not sure if they're still around. They sent me these products years ago. Should I still be using the lip crayons? Probably not, but I do because, hello, but I just want to. Um, but compared to that, that's literally a pound for this, which is, I, I love it, it's amazing. Compared to whatever this was, like eight pounds or something, you know, we know what we're like in here, not this one. So I just don't think it's worth the money, if I'm honest. Not that it's, you know, extortionately expensive, but there's just better things out there. Yeah, I've got one more product, and this isn't necessarily like an ultimate, ultimate fail. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera. But yeah, this is not necessarily like a massive fail, but the eyeshadow palettes. I just want to speak about it. I did have one of them whilst I was doing the body shop at home. I did get one of the palettes. I think it was free with my like commission or something. I don't know. I just hit a bonus or something. And yeah, I got the palette. I will put it on screen which one it is. I can't remember what it is. I just don't like the shades. You pay £12 for it. You can go to Revolution and get a really nice, quite big eyeshadow palette for £10 that's got really great quality eyeshadows, mattes, shimmers, everything. I just don't think the quality of the eyeshadows is amazing. Create They create quite a lot of fallout in the pan and also on your eyes and the color payoff so how strong the pigment of them is is actually not very high at all and it's just not a palette that i you know reach for very often all of the kind of tones on the palette were quite similar if you're going to create a small eyeshadow palette like make every shade different have something in that palette where you can create completely different looks and appearances and i just hate it when eyeshadow palettes have shades that are just so similar to each other i'm just like i i can't buy that palette because the shades are so similar so i just didn't like it i passed it on to my mom she probably uses it i'm not sure mom let us know but yeah i didn't really like it and i didn't get along with it and this is coming from somebody that's tried a hell load of eyeshadow palettes ranging from cheap prices to sort of urban decay prices so I know sort of the quality levels in terms of price points. For example, the Urban Decay one, the Naked Heat palette, the quality matches the price. Revolution eyeshadow palettes, the sort of the cheaper ones, the quality exceeds the price. So you know what we're looking at and then the body shop, they're just sort of, I don't know, like it's just a token gesture eyeshadow palette. It's not necessarily anything outstanding. Having said that though, the body shop do do really good skincare products not every skincare product but most of them are outstanding very very good for the skin and they can make massive results in terms of clearing your skin and softening your skin but when it comes to makeup i'm just not their biggest fan but obviously this is just my opinion you can have a different opinion and i'm sure you will so please don't dislike this video if you have a different opinion but you can do if you want it doesn't really bother me it doesn't make a difference but I just wanted to say that, you know, this, this is not me saying that everybody has to think like this, but that is my opinion. I would say my absolute least, least favourite product is probably the foundation because it just made my skin look so, so, so oily and that's not a good look. And also the lip balm just does nothing, so I suppose that's terrible. And then this with the mold that is not good but anyway so i think that kind of rounds up this video i have sort of planned a, a new body shop video sort of once a week once every two weeks so please stick around and stay subscribed and subscribe if you're not already like the video if you like body shop videos or this video and i will see you in my next one goodbye